we've done it. We've found a new construction community in the Atlanta area with homes available under $300,000. So if you're looking for a bargain on a brand new home, then this is the video for you. We've got a lot to cover today. We'll be going on a ride through the neighborhood and then I'm taking you inside two amazing floor plans that this community has to offer. We're also gonna go over the sensitive and sometimes controversial topic about home prices and where I think they'll be headed and specifically in the Atlanta market. But first, I come out with new videos every single week about what it's like to eat, sleep, live, and play right here in the Atlanta area. So if this is your first time to the video or to my channel, please make sure that you subscribe so that you never miss a thing. I get phone calls and text messages every single day from people moving and relocating here, and I absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about moving anywhere in the Atlanta area or the surrounding areas, make sure that you give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email. Days, nights, weekends, I've got your back when moving to the Atlanta area. Now let's get into it. Today, we are in Crossvine Village by Liberty Communities in LaGrange, Georgia. This is in the Clearview Elementary, Gardner, Noonan Middle School in LaGrange High School Districts. Right now, homes are starting in the 290s, which is a huge deal because new construction homes are few and far between to begin with, but finding them at this price point is even better. So with this community specifically, you have older homes that was built by a previous builder. The builder didn't finish developing out the community. And now you have Liberty Communities that has come in bought the remainder of the land, and now they are building their new homes there. So a couple of the folks that have older homes in that neighborhood, and now when I mean older, I don't mean significantly older. They were still built in the 2000s. Uh, those homes are selling because they have gotten so much equity in them since those people have moved in. So you're starting to see some turnover there, which is not always a bad thing. It's a great opportunity when you get to buy a home, your investment grows and you get to move on to your next home. So the new homes that they are building, right now they're starting out around 1,450 square feet, and they go all the way up to 2,800 square feet. They have floor plans from three bedrooms all the way up to five bedrooms, and they have two bath floor plans all the way up to three and a half floor plan, three and a half bath floor plans. So there's some really nice homes. As you can see, there is quite a bit of land for them to build several more homes on, which is great. Uh, there is an HOA in the community. They're going to be putting in a pool, tennis courts, and a playground as well. The annual association fee for this community is only going to be $500 right now. So that is a really great deal to get a pool and all those extra community amenities. It's really nice. Uh, so in LaGrange, it is really booming. It is LaGrange's south, southwest of Atlanta, maybe about an hour or so off down the interstate. Uh, the great thing about it is there's a ton of job opportunities that are popping up everywhere in LaGrange. You've got Duracell batteries that's down there. You've got the largest Kia plant in the United States in there. They're building a second Kia plant in there. They have a Remington plant that they're about to put in there. So there's a lot of job creation that's going on in that area. You've also got an Amazon distribution facility up in Noonan, not too far away. There's a ton, a ton of communities over there, which is awesome that uh, that are popping up because a lot of people are moving down there for jobs. And right now, you know, the job market is not that easy right now. So it's, it's a great opportunity if you're looking for uh, a new career or to move your career further. LaGrange is a, is a great place to look for that, um, especially if you're in the, in the manufacturing or distribution business. So that's really great. Um, you've got plenty of homes down here. Uh, and with this market, you know, like I said in the intro, we're going to be talking about where home prices are going. LaGrange is a great opportunity to get a great deal on a home. Right here, we're passing some of the, the more mature homes, some of the, the homes that have been around in this neighborhood before Liberty Communities came in. But uh, this LaGrange being an opportunity for less expensive homes uh, means that the, the market hasn't corrected there to the top end yet. It's growing, therefore prices are going up. 
in other areas of the Atlanta market, things are starting to, to get more balanced. And so prices are starting to uh, maybe not fluctuate or uh, gain value as fast as some other areas. You know, last year, Coweta County was still in the 10 to 15% range for year over year for uh, gained equity in homes for the average price point. Um, other areas only have grown one to 2%. LaGrange is still booming. It's, it's still going up. These look at these great homes starting out, like I said, in the two nineties and on up, uh, to about the three fifties right now. Now that, that is subject to change as homes sell the way that developers work as homes sell, the prices go up. So that's great for the people that buy early because if they started doing discounts on all the homes, then the values of the homes would start going down on the home that you just bought, which people would be very upset about that. So they try to keep the equity there. They try to increase the price every few homes. That way you gain value in your home. You gain equity in your home, uh, which is what you're supposed to do when you purchase a home. It's an investment. It's one of the largest investments you'll make until you buy your next home. Um, and we can get into that a little bit more about investments and homes and the forever home, because a lot of times that forever home uh, is really only your home for five to 10 years. Uh, what may have been a, a seven before is now a six, so you have to move. But first here, we have the Sierra model that we're gonna go check out and see. It's 1,900 square feet. This one here is four bedrooms, two baths. Uh, it's, it's a great little home uh, here. So let's get inside, let's check it out. Uh, it's two and a half baths. I'm sorry if I said two. It's a uh, four bedroom, two and a half bath because uh, you do have a half bath downstairs. This one here, we're going to check out the garage. The other home is another, is another model home, but that's where the office is, the sales office. So we're not going to check out the garage there, but you can see it's a nice actual two car garage. It's got an actual separator in there. So you're not squeezing in two tiny little compact cars. You can fit two regular size vehicles and still get in and out pretty comfortably. Um, but the, the great thing about this is even though this community here has a great price point, you still get a lot of great options, uh, that normally you'd see in more expensive homes. Like you've got your open Island concept that looks over the living room. You'll see the stainless steel appliances. You'll see the light, nice, large pantry, uh, a lot of things that normally you'd see in more expensive homes or in this home here. Um, but like I said, uh, the, the main thing that we're talking about is investments uh, in home and uh, value of home where I see the market going. Um, depending on where you're at, because I'm seeing it all over the place in Atlanta, some areas have slowed down. We're able to, to ask for a little bit more when it comes to buyers making offers. Uh, in other markets, we're still going against multiple offer situations. Um, so it just depends on where you want to go. The job market plays a big part in it. LaGrange, because it has so much area of opportunity for people, um, it is one of the com more competitive markets right now. Um, there's several people that I'm working with right now in that area that uh, we have gone up against multiple offer situations. Uh, so. That's, that's a challenge, especially depending on the type of loan that you go with. But the way that I see it too, and I've talked about it before, is uh, right now I'm talking to a lot of people and they're talking about interest rates. They're concerned about what the interest rate is right now. Um, and they're waiting for it to go down a little bit because they, because they keep telling us that interest rates are gonna go down at some point this year. Well you're not the only one waiting uh, what is what I keep telling folks. Uh, and don't think about it as you being on the sidelines right now for real estate to buy your home. It's you at the Boston Marathon or the New, New York City Marathon and you're waiting for that gun to go off to start running because you're running with all those other folks too. So if you buy now, yeah, the interest rate's a little bit higher, but you're in your home. You can refinance. 
but you're in your home right now, uh, you could take advantage of when the interest rates go down. And just like what we saw during COVID where people were bidding over asking and that was causing prices of homes to go up. So you'd gain equity in your home a lot faster if that happened again, not saying that it will to that level, but it could happen. And if you're already in your home and you need to buy a home, you miss the craziness because we have the perfect storm coming this year. We have right now people are getting their tax returns back. So they're starting to get some help with down payments, with closing costs, but we're also about to get into spring. A lot of people wait to move after the school year ends. Uh, if they get out in May in that time of the year, because they want their kids to finish school and then they enter the real estate market. This is an election year. They've talked about lowering interest rates. So you've got all these things that are about to happen at once that could potentially create a pretty serious uh, real estate frenzy. Uh, right now we're in the uh, master or in the owner suite. Uh, it's really nice in here. You've got a little tiny closet here, but that's uh, one of two. So don't worry, there's another closet in here the his and hers or a hers and hers because I know my wife would take over both. She would she would let me believe that uh, I'd get the small one, but we know that she would slowly start to take that one over as well. Look at the lights on this one. They have uh, the, the lights built into the mirrors and they also have a defogger as well. So you can hit the little button, it'll glow red and uh, supposedly your windows won't fog up while you're taking a hot steamy shower. So that's really nice with this. Um, this model home and the other one we're going to see are from phase one. So there are some different options involved. So you will have a stand up shower and a separate tub. It won't be a shower tub combo. Um, it's not to my knowledge from what they said, it's not going to affect the prices of where they're at right now. Like I said, they will go up every so often as they close on a deal. But as of right now, that's kind of where they're at with it. Uh, they realize that they did put in a lot of nice things, but when people get into an owner suite bathroom, they'd like to have a separate tub and shower, not a shower tub combo. So they made that pivot and made that adjustment. Uh, but yeah, when it comes to, when it comes to real estate, there's other markets in different areas that are doing different things. Some markets, homes prices are going down. Uh, Atlanta for the most part is not one of those areas. The reason being is because, Atlanta and Atlanta metro area has been an undervalued market for so long. It is one of the, it's the hub of the South, basically take out some, some, you know, you do have places like Charlotte, South Carolina, you have Miami, Florida, you have some major cities out there, but all the businesses there in Atlanta, uh, it's huge. It's, it's one of the biggest cities. I mean, if some of the other cities were just as big, I mean, we have all the major sports teams here. There's not, there's college football in Alabama, but there's no major sports teams. In, in South Carolina, you have a few. Tennessee, you have a few scattered here and there, but Georgia is huge. It's, there's a large population here and it's been an undervalued market for so long. Type in, your, type in the comments below how much homes in California or New York are right now and look at what you can get for a fraction of that price. You know, I want to I want to see a home that's $300,000, $350,000 in in New York, in California and show me one that's this big with land on it as well. You you've got a little bit, not a huge yard, but you've got a little bit of yard. So, your the value here has been so great that when I do help people from those other areas, they're in shock. It's like it's like bargain bargain prices here and they're like yeah let's do this let's see how much house we can get and it's amazing that the price that you can get um so that's that's the thing is that prices have been low they're starting to come up and we're starting to see the reflection of how dominant atlanta is as a major market we're starting to get to the major market prices that's why some parts of atlanta especially like the northeast part in the gwinnett county areas your Johns Creeks, especially you have median price points that are like $700,000 plus because that's what people pay in major areas. So here, LaGrange is a little bit further south. The prices aren't so bad. Um, you do have to drive a little bit further if you're working in Atlanta, 
But like I said before, there's a ton, a ton of opportunities in the LaGrange area and on the south side of Atlanta that wouldn't be too far for you. So that's the benefit of being down here. Uh, right here, great plus that I see was the laundry room was on the main level. So that's always nice to see, or not the main level, but where the bedrooms are. That way you're not going up and downstairs with the laundry. We've talked about that before. It's always a nice feature to have, especially in a home of this price point. That's something that they still thought about and considered to put into this layout. You do have a half bath that was tucked away in the corner. This is the model home. They're still building all around it, but you can see this one here is set to have a pretty decent sized backyard, which is great. Fence it in, you got a super private backyard, a little private oasis back there and you're good to go. Um, but yeah, that's the, that's the gist of the Atlanta market and where we sit. Um, in the next home, we'll get in a little bit more about where I see the prices continue to go over the next few years. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about this home. Also too, if you wanna know what the price of this home is, uh, give me a call. I'll set you up on my website and we can, uh, we can get you all set up. I can show you this community and any others that you wanna see. This is Crossvine Village in LaGrange again. So uh, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, I'll get you set up. Uh, that way you are not being hounded on the major websites. Uh, once you register on there, you're going to get a call from every agent and their mama uh, about wanting to help you with real estate. You set, I set you up on my website. You won't get hounded by anyone. If you, if you request a showing or information, you get a call or a text from me or someone on my team. That's it. Not every agent. I'm here to help you. I'm here to make this uh, one smooth move transition for you to Atlanta, to the Atlanta area. So I'm here to help you with whatever you need. All right, so this home here is the Jodico, and this is the five bedroom plan. You're in, as you can see, you're in one of the bedrooms down here right off of the entrance. Uh, this is just over 2,300 square feet, and this has three full bathrooms. Uh, when we get to the bathroom downstairs, uh, I, I wanna show you, we're about to turn in there. I'm gonna show you a really cool feature about this. So. This technically could be considered a multi-generational home. Like if you have a, a elderly parent or grandparent that you need to take care of, look at this full bathroom right here that's next to the, to the bedroom. You've got a walk-in shower. So if you're elderly or handicapped and you have issues with stepping over into a tub, this is a great solution to that. Uh, you just have the stand-up shower. So it's a great little option that you can get in the home. Uh, and it's great for something like that if you have to take care of somebody or if if something happens and you hurt yourself and you can't go up the stairs to the owner suite, you can just stay down there. You can get showered down there and you're good to go. Look at that. This is a nice setup in here. You've got a nice open concept. Um, looking over, you got a nice peninsula looking over this living room here. And in that living room, you've got that fireplace, as you can see. Uh, they are changing it to where the fireplace right now, as you can see, it's sticking out. Uh, they are going to have it flat, smooth with the wall. So it won't be able to use as a shelf, but who's going to use it? You, you, it's not there in the first place. You won't ever notice it to begin with. Um, but it's a great little setup. I love the electric fireplaces like that. So you can still get the heat. Uh, you still get a little bit of control over it, but you're not worried about gas or fires or anything like that. I love this kitchen. You've got a decent amount of counter space for this price point, especially. And then when we get into the pantry, that pantry is not a $250,000 home pantry. Um, it's, <laughs> it's a great little home. Uh, but yeah, keep enjoying the home. Let's keep talking about the market where I think it's gonna go. So I don't have a crystal ball, but from what I see, like I was saying before, we are in, in the Atlanta market in a different kind of correction that other markets are in right now. Some markets are correcting that they, they were selling homes overpriced and now they're coming back down a little bit. Um, it's happening in some small parts here and there sprinkled around in the Atlanta area as well. But for the most part, the areas that are popular that are growing, the prices are still going up. Um, and I don't see them coming down. People are talking about crashes or foreclosures and all this that could happen. Well, we're still at 
basically a record low for foreclosures. We're not even close to the average amount of foreclosures right now. So there, there could be some more foreclosures that hit the market, but it's not going to be anything that's going to drastically change the market. Uh, the things that happened in the early 2000s that caused the market crash, uh, legislation has been passed by the US government to make sure things like that didn't happen anymore to where lenders weren't allowed to do those things, predatory lenders, uh, not what you see anymore uh, with that. And so not if you, you know, if you were in a situation and they could figure out how to make something work, even if it wasn't to your best interest, they would try. And um, then you were stuck with this huge payment that you couldn't make. And then you lost your home. Now that doesn't happen anymore. So you're protected with that. Uh, so this crash that everyone's, not everyone, but people that I talk to that are banking on, it's the same situation as the people that were concerned whenever uh, last election rolled around and they said, well, if someone becomes ex so and so becomes president, because I heard it on both sides, it wasn't just a one side or another side. I heard it on both sides. If so and so becomes president, then the market's going to tank. Well, what has the market in Atlanta done? It's gone up year over year, twenty percent one year, and then again it went up twenty percent. Then it went up fifteen percent. So a lot of those people that waited, hopeful waited, uh, waited in hope. I guess I don't know. Tell me what it is. Um, but they lost out they 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 got pushed out of the market they got priced out of the market um and then they got these expectations of oh this house here for example this is a hundred and fifty thousand dollar house well maybe four years ago it was a hundred and fifty thousand dollar house five years ago but unfortunately the way the market has gone and it's not going to change um to me in my opinion this this is the new norm uh You'll get homes that are, yes, you, you'll come across some. My first home, for example, was $86,000. And it was a home that was a foreclosed home and a guy fixed, bought it, fixed it up, and it was a flip. I bought a flip home from somebody. It was a great home. Uh, but that was in 2013-ish, in that range. Uh, that same home sold a few years ago for... 250 ish thousand dollars maybe more uh I've, i'm a few homes away from that now so but i did look at it and, it and it's insane how much it's gone up but that when i bought my first home a starter home was a, in the atlanta area west of atlanta was 85 ish to a hundred thousand dollars now a starter home is 250 to three hundred and fifty thousand dollars um to not get priced out of the market, it's better to buy sooner. And, you know, if when you get in, then your career will advance, your life will advance, you'll make more money through raises. So my loan at that point on that $86,000 house stretched me thin. Now, I wish I could have a, a mortgage at that rate. It was $800 a month. And it, I was, you know, it was, it was tough, but I did it. And now looking back on it, if I had an $800,000, $800 a month mortgage, I would be ecstatic. I would be over the moon, but that's what gets to happen when you buy a home is yeah, it's, it's not easy for any, everyone. Things that, things that are worth it don't always come easy. And buying a home is one of those things that's worth it. It's a huge investment, the biggest investment you'll make until you buy your next home. Um, but when you buy it, you save, you're smart about the home, you make sure that you don't stretch your budget too thin. Uh, you don't wanna be living off of ramen and beanie weenies every night for dinner, but you want to still get a good home that you can grow in, that you can see yourself in for the next five to 10 years, because that's the average amount of time that someone stays in a home is five to 10 years. Uh, the, the, the idea of a forever home, that is my grandparents. That's what they lived in was their forever home. They bought that home. My grandpa built it with his bare hands. That was the house that they died in. Now I'm 36 years old, 37. I don't know. I'm 29 and, uh, I'm on my third house already. So, uh, 
uh, it's, it's a totally different generation thing. Um, I'm, I help people. You, we, I had a closing today. The people that was selling their house, my buyers, uh, they bought their house. They bought it two years ago. It was a great home for them, but they had twins. It was a three bedroom home. Uh, they worked from home and they were fine with having one. But when they found out they were having twins, that house got real small, real quick, and they had to sell it because of that. So just because it's a eight or a nine or an a, almost a 10 house out of 10, uh, when life happens, you outgrow the house and then you move on. There's nothing wrong with that. That's what everyone does. That's, that's the new way of life. You know, like I said, it was different back then, but also too, my grandpa added on to the house 17 times. I'm not handy enough and there's so many codes and it costs so much for me to, to add on to my house that I'd just be, be a lot easier and probably a lot cheaper nowadays to just sell that house and buy a new one. So, <laughs> sorry. So yeah, that's, uh, that's what I see with the market is I don't see it going anywhere. It's the new norm. If you're thinking it's gonna go down in any form or fashion, then uh, my concern for you is, uh, it may not. If it if it does great, fantastic. That's a huge win and good job for you. But uh, I don't I, to look out for you for you to think that the market may go down. I just want you to be informed of what caused it to go down before foreclosures, which we're nowhere near that level. Um, there's a ton of people that got great interest rates a few years ago. Uh, tons of people got equity in their home because of what happened. Um, yeah, the job market's a little shaky right now. Um, that's how they're getting rid of inflation, uh, is, you know, people don't have a job and can't afford things, then inflation starts to go away. But, and, and that's just economics, supply and demand. Um, if there, if there's less demand because they don't have money, then the supply goes up and the price comes down with homes. We're in such a negative market right now. Uh, that's it's we're so far away from a healthy market even even with homes people are saying why are homes staying on the market two three months well healthy market homes stay on the market six months so we're still a long way away from a healthy market um, when that time comes things will change my my forecast will change but for the near future for the next few years I don't see the market going anywhere in my opinion but uh, yeah that's the tour of this community. Now that you've got just a small taste of what makes Crossvine Village by Liberty Communities in LaGrange such a great place to live, are you ready to consider making a move here? I'll be happy to get you from where you are to where you wanna be. My contact information is below and in the description, so reach out anytime. I'll be coming out with new videos every week and I'll be diving in a lot deeper into these communities, so be sure to subscribe. Be sure to hit that like button too. And also if you're interested in seeing videos of other Metro Atlanta areas, comment below. See you next week.